When Stars Unite by Shalom Sanka Chapter 1 Hope for a Change On a chilly Monday morning, Snowy slowly wakes up to the sound of a blaring alarm clock. Panic immediately sets in as she realizes she must be running late for school. She hastily throws off her warm covers and jumps out of bed, still groggy from a restless night's sleep. As she rushes to get ready, she is suddenly stopped in her tracks by her two younger brothers, Mac and Brawley, who are identical twins. With a sense of worry on their faces, they disappointedly inform her that she is indeed late and that the elder brother, Duke, has already left to drop off the younger sister, Joy. Snowy's heart sinks as she realizes that it is now her responsibility to transport the twins and herself to school. Without hesitation, Snowy hurries the twins out the door, determined to make it in time for the bus. As they step onto the bus, all of the stress and chaos from the morning dissipates, and a sense of relief washes over Snowy. They finally arrive at school, and as they exit the bus, Snowy is met with the sight of Julia, the notorious schoolboy, flaunting her luxurious car. In a mocking tone, Julia, Julia cruelly turns Snowy, saying, so you're still traveling to school with that old dumpster, huh? I guess some people just can't afford a decent car. Snowy takes a deep breath as she walks alongside her brothers into the school. Feeling a mixture of frustration and longing for a change in her life, she says to herself, I wish for a change. Meanwhile, in New York, Lindo Stye, famous singer, took center stage with a captivating performance, concealed behind a stunned bird's mask. His motive for anonymity was clear. He desired to shield his true identity from the probing eyes of the public. As the final notes faded, Lindo gracefully exited the stage, removing his mask along the way. Little did he know, he would be met face to face with his strict manager, Trevor, greeting him with admiration. Trevor exclaimed, Wonderful, wonderful, just one more solo and your career will be eternally secured. Inquisitively, he asked Lindo which genre he was inclined towards for his next performance. Lindo, voicing his dissatisfaction, boldly responded, I don't want any of those genres. I crave something fresh and innovative. Trevor, appalled by the suggestion, retorted, Are you attempting to sabotage your fame and reputation? You must perform what I instruct you to. Wait until your father hears about this. In a fit of anger, Trevor stormed out the room, leaving Lindo to sigh deeply and whisper to himself, I long for a change. Chapter 2 The Change Begins Snowy, exhausted from a long day at school, returns home with her siblings. The twins, Mac and Broy, enter her room with concern on their faces. Big sis, are you hungry? Dinner is ready, they say in unison. Duke has heated up the cooked food he prepared earlier and is waiting at the dinner table with joy. Snowy acknowledges their offer and slowly sits down. Wanted to know why their parents were absent, she turns to Duke and asks, Duke, are mom and dad working night shifts again? Duke nods in response. Joy, sensing her sister's melancholy, leans over and asks her how her day at school was. Snowy, refusing to answer, keeps her troubles to herself. Observing her sadness, the Cairn twins, Mac and Brawley, seize the opportunity to lighten the mood. Mac shouts to Duke, their big brother, Hey Duke, we don't need a maid when we have you. Laughter fills the room as Duke playfully chases after Mac. In the midst of her laughter, Joy assures Snowy that tomorrow will be a better day.